Once upon a time there lived an old man and an old woman. One day the old man went to a fair and he bought a goat. He took the goat home and early the next morning told his son to take it out to graze. The youth grazed the goat till evening and drove it home. He drove it straight to the gate and the old man stood there in his red boots and said, Tell me, little goat, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, grandpa, I have not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with a hope and a skip, I wished of a leaf and nibbled the tip. As I ran by a brook with a skip and a hope, I scooped up some water and had a drop. And that was all that I ate and all that I drank. The old man was very angry with his son for not having looked after the god properly and turned him out of the house. On the next day he himself went to graze the god. He grazed it all day long, and when evening came he drove it out onto the road and himself ran on ahead and stood by the gate of his house in his red boots, said the old man. Tell me, little god, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, grandpa, I have not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with a hope and a skip, I wished of a leaf and nibbled the tip. As I ran by a brook with a skip and a hope, I scooped up some water and had a drop. And that was all that I ate and all that I drank. The old man was very angry with the god. He went to a blacksmith and had his knife sharpened, and he was about to kill the god. But the god tore itself loose and ran off the, to the forest. It saw a rabbit's hut there, came inside and hid on the stove. By and by ra the rabbit ran in uh, and saw that there was someone in his hut. Who is there in my hut? I am nimbly quibbly the goat, with a stone skin and coat. To the fire I was brought, and for three kopecks bought. I will fighten you off with a bleed, I will stamp stab on you with my feet. With my horns I will pierce you and crush you. With my tail away I will brush you, and that will be the end of you. The rabbit was very frightened. He ran out of the hut, sat down under an oak tree and began to cry. By and by a bear came, lumbering up. Why are you crying, Rani Bunny? How can I help it? Crumby Rumby, a terrible beast is sitting in my hut. I am going to drive him out. Who is sitting in this hut? And the goat called back. I am nimbly quibbly the goat, with a stone skin and coat. To the fire I was brought, and for three kopecks bought. I will fighten you off with a bleed, I will stamp stab on you with my feet. With my horns I will pierce you and crush you. With my tail away I will brush you, and that will be the end of you. The bear was very frightened and out he ran from the hut. I am afraid, I cannot help you, Rani Bunny. So the rabbit sat down under the oak tree again, and he cried and cried. By and by, a wolf came lolloping up. Why are you crying, Rani Bunny? How can I help it? A terrible beast is sitting in my hut. I am going to drive him out. I don't believe it. The bear tried and he couldn't, so how can you? Well, just see if I don't. And of the wolf made for the hut. Who is sitting in this hut? I am nimbly quibbly the goat, with a stone skin and coat. To the fire I was brought, and for three kopecks bought. I will fighten you off with a bleed, I will stamp stab on you with my feet. With my horns I will pierce you and crush you. 
with my tail away, I will brush you, and that will be the end of you. The wolf was very frightened, and out he ran from the hut. I am afraid. I cannot help you, Rani Bunny. So the rabbit sat down under the oak tree again, and he cried and cried. By and by, a crayfish came crawling up. Why are you crying, Rani Bunny? How can I help it? A terrible beast is sitting in my hut. I am going to drive him out. I don't believe it. The bear tried and he couldn't. The wolf tried and he couldn't. So how can you? Well, just see if I don't. And the goat called back. I am nimbly quibbly the goat, with a stone skin and coat, to the fire I was brought, and for three kopecks bought. I will frighten you off with a bleat, I will stand stab on you with my feet, with my horns I will pierce you and crush you, with my tail away I will brush you, and that will be the end of you. But this did not stop the crayfish, on and on he crawled. Uh, and he crawled up onto the stove and said, By all fear am I, and you'll soon know why. I snap and you leap, I nip and you weep. And he nipped the goat's heart with his claws. The goat gave a bleat, jumped from the stove, and away it ran as fast as its legs could carry it. And Rani Bunny was overjoyed. He came into the hut and sent the crayfish hour and hour again. And he lives in his hut to this day as sung as you please.